So let's start building Android. Um, if we uh, open up um, any search engine, we type Android source code. Of course, we can see the Android open source project. Um, let's get our terminal ready because we're going to be doing some work here. But uh, I, I've preloaded these tabs because my internet's a little slow. But this Android source code, Android open source project, if you take a look, here's what we see uh, that we have going on here. This is the instructions for building Android from the people who make Android. Okay. So of course, Google puts Android together and the Android open source project is an open source, meaning anybody can contribute and use it freely. Uh, and in here is a lot of information like our requirements. Uh, we looked at a few of these already when we set up before. Um, the biggest thing to keep in mind is that when we build Android, we're going to need lots of space and we're going to need some Java development kits to build our different versions of Android. So when we're setting up to build Android, we need the appropriate Java development kit for the version of Android we're building. So we're going to start by building Lollipop. It's kind of old now, but I just feel that if we work our way through this process, we're going to learn a whole lot about how this works. So how do we establish that build environment? Um, you know, one of the first things it mentions here is installing the Java development kit. So let's open up our terminal and we're going to go to uh, sudo apt get update. We're going to make sure that we are using the latest list of possible packages that we can. And for the different versions of Android, we need different versions of Java. Um, in this case, we're going to need to install openjdk-7 jdk. And you see I put a space dash Y on here. That just means answer yes to any questions. Because normally you say, I want to I want to install this. And it's going to ask you, do you want to install this? And I just want to go ahead and say yes. So the reason I'm typing this is because I want to install it. So just go ahead and assume yes to all questions. Um, one of the great things about doing the virtual machines like I'm doing here is I can have different builds set up with different versions of Java, which you, while you can do on a single machine can be a little bit tedious. Um, so it's just helpful for me in this video series to use different virtual machines with the different versions of Java for the different versions of Android we're gonna build. So for Lollipop and Marshmallow, we're gonna use OpenJDK 7. And for, uh, of course, our um, Nugget and Oreo, we're going to use OpenJDK 8. So just be aware of that. What are these things? This JDK is a Java development kit. It is a kit full of all the tools that you need to build Java programs. Um, Android pretty much completely runs at the application level with Java programs. All the apps that are made for it are Java. Um, all the tools that uh, we're going to be using here is going to be utilizing a lot of Java. Now, there are a few other parts that are not Java. For instance, several parts are compiled with uh, C++ or C, and uh, in particular, the kernel is not compiled in Java, and that is compiled typically in C uh, or C++, but typically C. And that's also why for the kernel, we have our own tool chain. Hopefully you watched the tool chain video. If you haven't, I recommend you go ahead and use this time and go back and take a look at that. So here we are, we're updating with the, uh, the quote latest Java, in, in this case, it's Java 7. Um, so it's not the latest Java, but the latest version of Java 7 that we have, OpenJDK 7. And I'm building, of course, on Ubuntu 
So we're going to grab this whole line. I just highlighted it and then I can center click or middle click on my mouse and it pastes everything for me. And it says, do you want to install all this stuff? And I say, yeah, of course. So really handy. Uh, that, that middle click allows you to quickly paste something that you have highlighted in some other window into the terminal, uh, something to be aware of. You could, of course, hand type all of that, but it's rather tedious. As you saw, it was pretty long. So this is what we're doing to get all the right programs and tools installed to be ready to build Android. Nothing that we've clicked here is the actual Android source code itself. This is just the tool that we need to be able to build once we have the source code. So that's a really important distinction that some people may get hung up on. Um, we're just getting everything ready for when we get the source code to build with. Um, of course, you can uh, look at the different things here on the website. As I'm scrolling around, there's tools like Ccash, uh, things like that. I, I guess I wouldn't call Ccash a tool, but rather a, um, a utilizing of a tool. Um, and we'll look at setting up some various things here in a little bit. But I'd like to just walk through uh, what our goal is to walk through doing Lollipop Android as the Android open source project just the bare bone minimum, just so we understand how this process is working. And um, hopefully from there, we'll be able to build on that. We'll go to different versions like Slim ROMs. We'll go to um, AOKP, AOSVP, or Cypher OS, and all the way up through Oreo.